Hallelujah. The Lord is good all the time. I want to thank God for another day in His presence. I will be bringing the Word of God to us again today from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6. And I read, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. People of God, a lot of things are happening around us. I know a lot of us are worried, a lot of us are anxious. A lot of, some people are even depressed. We don't know what is happening. Some people seem not to understand what is happening in our country. Why is there? Why are we facing this lockdown? Why are we having it difficult to have food to eat? Why are things so tough for us? But the word I'm bringing to you this morning is to tell us, according to the word of God, that we should be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. There is no difficult, there is no situation, there is no situation that is so difficult, that is so tough, that God cannot handle. As a matter of fact, if you go into the dictionary, to even search the meaning of worry, you will be surprised what the definition is. Now, let me read this. It says, worry is feel or cause to feel anxious or trouble about actual or potential problems. The state of being anxious and troubled over actual or potential problems. A lot of us are troubled by what I call potential problems. Those problems, they are yet to crystallize. They have not even happened, but we are worried, we are anxious. And if you look at the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verse 25, Jesus himself pre preaching on the mount, advise us to take life very easy. Jesus said, why are we worrying about what we are going to eat, what we are going to drink, what we are going to wear? Those are the things we worry and anxious about. He said, we need not worry about them. Your father in heaven knows that you are in need of those things. He knows what to do part time. He knows how to take care of you. You may say, I don't have food to eat. Food is coming. You may say, I don't have money to spend. Money is coming. But if you kill yourself, if you allow worry and anxiety to kill you before the money arrives, you is going to spend the money. So my advice, my admonition to you this morning, from the word of God is be careful for not take things easy. Stop being worried. The problem here is because you are getting worried, you are getting anxious. And when worry comes in, the outcome is always very, very bad. The outcome is always very, very bad. A lot of people will develop some health issue because they are now having high blood pressure about what is going to happen that naturally when it happens, it's going to take care of itself. My philosophy in life is very simple. Things will sort itself out. No matter how tough it is, no matter how difficult it is, it will come and it will go. But there, there will always be good and bad season. Bad season will come and it will go. And be rest assured when bad season goes, good season will come. So be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Don't get worried. Be, stop being worried about all of those issues. The God of heaven himself will take care of us. We need to be alive, to witness the good things and the promises he has made. If we allow worry and anxiety to kill us before that time, who is going to be alive to witness those things? So people of God, I leave you with this word this morning. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.